is what you'll need to make a delicious ginger drizzle cake. Some eggs, some butter, a good lump of fresh ginger, some honey, baking powder, caster sugar and self-raising flour. First thing we're going to do is get your ginger peeled and then grated. Set your ginger to one side and into a bowl. Melt your butter, either with the pan or in the microwave. Go in with the sugar and then give it a nice mix until it's creamy. Into your creamy mixture, you go in with your grated ginger. Save some of your grated ginger because that's going as a topping. That will be the drizzle aspect of the cake. Then into there with two eggs and we're going to give it a good mix. Your eggs are mixed in, it's time to go in with your dry ingredients. So your flour, baking powder, <coughs> and we're going to sieve them in just to get some air into the mixture. Then put your whisk away, and we're going to use a spatula to fold all that together until it forms your batter. Once it's all come together, it's time to get out your baking tin. With your cake tin, or more rightly should I say your loaf tin, we're going to give it a good rub round with some butter. And the next thing, we're going to cut a little template for the bottom there with some grease proof paper. With that, pop that into the bottom, stick it to the butter, and then it's ready for your cake batter. This then wants to go in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for around 45 minutes until one of these wooden toothpicky things comes out and it's dry. If it's still wet, leave it in there for another 5 minutes. When your cake comes out of the oven and your toothpick is dry, time to flip it over. and it has done. It comes out nicely. Take off your piece of paper and then allow that to cool for 10 minutes while we get on with the drizzle sauce. Into a pan with some boiling water, the ginger that you've saved and some honey and then we're just going to reduce that down, let it steam away until you're left with what you estimate is about enough to cover your cake with. With your drizzle concoction reducing, it's time to get your toothpick or whatever you use to test your cake. You're just going to make loads of holes right down to the other side in your cake. When your drizzle has reduced down enough, it's time to do what it says on the tin and drizzle it onto your cake. Then just give that 10 minutes so that it can soak in. Make yourself a cup of tea, cut yourself a generous slice off and enjoy it. <laughs>